and his role on the team. Is that Jacoby Brissett's role? I, I, that, to me, that's not how I envision Jacoby Brissett's role. Jacoby Brissett's role, to me, is have a fake competition with Drake May. Then when Drake May beats you, stand there with the clipboard and your hat on and be an, an asset to him. Like, aid him. Not, I'm just going to do what I do and Drake May watch me do it because I'm a professional. That's not what I thought the role was for Jacoby Brissett. Well, I think the bigger question is, like, the way that Tom describes it is Jacoby Brissett is supposed to be a shining example of what a professional quarterback is. So, as he said, like, the way that you command a huddle, the way that you lead your locker room, the way that you show up to do your business and deal with coaches. What's Jacoby Brissett ever led anybody to anything? He's never had a winning record, I don't think. I think, think, honestly, being a good guy. Like, he is the good guy award guy. That's who he is. And if you listen to further in Tom's podcast, it's all about, you know, he goes back to Cleveland and they have a whole banner to welcome back to Cleveland because everybody loves Jacoby Brissett. It's just yeah, and then he went hear- four and seven, <laughs> and in Miami he had a losing record, and in Indianapolis he had a losing record. But is Jacoby Brissett expected to be? And in Washington they never even he, let him on the I, field the over Sam Howell. Is like, is he is he supposed to be sitting and like quizzing Drake May on the playbook? I don't think so. If Drake May asks him anything, you better answer it. It's not just like, hey, kid, stop bothering me. If Drake May has questions for you, Jacoby Brissett, you answer them. You help the kid because that's the quarterback. But isn't what he's saying in part that Jacoby Brissett? is this good guy so it's yeah, not fine. he's he's gonna he's be a nice. good example and he's also gonna be somebody fine. who drake may can go to with real questions he's nice to the media maybe just maybe i think he's nice to his teammates i think he's nice to coaches i think he's a respectful guy okay but maybe he also like doesn't exactly know what he's doing because he's kind of sucked and so maybe he's not the guy to just watch maybe he's the guy to like if drake may has questions bounce him off of him but like i thought his role was to stand here have a fake competition lose it and then be the backup to Drake May. That's what I thought the role was. Not ignore him and just show him how to do everything. And hey, rookie, pipe down and watch me. I don't know if it's ignoring him, but it's kind of this thing where, okay, do you think being the backup to uh, Brett Favre is the reason why Aaron Rodgers was great? No, not at all. Okay, so like, what are we talking about? It's kind of where I come from. Like, was back- did backing up Tom Brady make Jimmy Garoppolo great? I think if you think that way, like you're looking at it in a kind of bizarre manner. It's not the starting quarterback's job. Like, yeah, you can lead by example, and I think that's what they're expecting him to do. Jacoby Brissett is a stopgap. That's what he is. He's yeah, a yeah. nice guy, right. good example, stopgap. He's a stopgap a... until Drake May beats him out in August. That's how I okay. look at it. Well, I think it's going to be a stopgap until October at least. Like too, that That's my personal feeling. But it's like this whole talk about, like, is is Jacoby Brissett going to be the one to bring Drake May along? I think the best thing that Jacoby Brissett can do is just not be a jerk to Drake May, you know? And yeah. it, just be a sounding right. board. Uh, no, 100%. I agree with that. 100%. When you Basically lose— Basically be what Brian Hoyer was to Mac Jones, except make it more successful. When you lose the job, uh, don't cry about it, right? Don't yeah. cry about it. I, I don't know that Mac Jones was the greatest backup last year. I don't know that Zappi was the greatest backup to Mac Jones. Like— you don't want the quarterback room to be adversarial. But that that's where Jacoby Brissett being a good guy does come in. I agree with that. When you lose and you don't have the job anymore, uh, you know, sit there and don't cry about it. And don't root against the kid and talk down the kid behind his back. Rip him to your teammates and be like, oh, I can do better than this kid. That's the kind of quarterback you don't want in the room with Drake May. And so, good. When you lose the job, be a good guy and don't second guess him. Right, exactly. That's why he's. So I think the only thing we disagree with is when he's going to lose the job. No, but I also disagree where it's like, oh, watch Jacoby. Everything Jacoby Brissett does, watch him. I, I don't. I, why am I watching the losing quarterback? Well, Who's I never want a quarterback saying, like you know, watch his footwork, watch him you know, play football necessarily. I think it's more watch the way that he takes care of his business. I know, but, but Tom makes it sound like you know, Drake. Don't bother Jacoby Brissett with your questions. No, 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 no. If Drake may ask questions, bother Jacoby Brissett and Jacoby. Answer them. You should be answering them. Your job is to help. Your, this is what you do now. You are now a backup quarterback to young quarterbacks who are going to beat you out. And if you want to stay in the league, you better be nice to the, but the young some, quarterback. Is it, but, but in tandem, some of that is also developing as a leader if you're going to be the starting quarterback at some point this season. Whether you think it's week one or whether you think it's week nine or further down, for Drake May, he can't be a gnat. He can't be all over and buzzing and just trying to get his words in. We all know that person who just asks crap to ask crap to, like, hear their own voice. And it's super annoying, and it's, like, 
a brown noser and someone that you don't want to be around. And I think that that's my interpretation of what Curran's saying. Don't make it look like you're such an eager beaver. Like you're so excited to be the quarterback that you're all up, you know, in the grown-ups' faces. Yeah. That's how I hear it because then people around the locker room will start to look at you sideways and be like, that guy's annoying. He's annoying. Okay, fine. I don't want to follow that guy. If Jacoby Brissett, uh, I'm sorry. If Drake may ask questions, Jacoby Brissett should answer him. That's that's how I feel. And I, I mean, maybe if he if it gets to be too much, or he's being an eager beaver or a brown noser, well then that's weird. But if that's what you, if that's what Drake you don't may think is, that there's people like that. I do. But if if that's who he is, you're screwed. <laughs> and I don't I don't think that's who. If Drake may, if that's who he is, he's an eager beaver, brown noser. Then you have Mac Jones again, and you're screwed. So like you, that won't work. It doesn't matter if if the the quarterback answers him or not. If that's who he is, it won't work. It will never work if that's who he is. I hope that's not who he is. I have no idea. I don't know enough about him. He was nice when we interviewed him. That doesn't mean anything. I have no idea. But, like, if that's his attitude, brown-nosing, uh, eager beaver who, like, undermines the coaching no. staff, then that then you're screwed. Well, I think it undermining the coaching staff is, like, a different thing. It would be more like sucking up to the coaching staff. Okay. Oh, well, what about this? What if I'm, hey, coach, coach, coach? Well, what Mac about jo- in this scenario? Mac Jones did both. I know. He, Mac Jones he was, sucked up to Patricia he, and Judge, and then he ripped him.